Is this Black Monday 2024? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Uh, yes, is the morning good? No, it's not good because the complete market is crashing. I'm going to talk about it in the news. Of course, also going to look at the charts and an inspirational quote at the end that will probably help you on these difficult days in crypto. Let's first jump into that very important news of that Black Monday 2024 as everything is crashing. The Japanese stock market has the second largest drop in history and is wiping out all year's profits in just three weeks. The Korean stock market dropped 5% and they even suspended trading so they can't drop any further. The S&P 500 pre-market already dropping with 1.5%. And yes, we saw a sell-off of crypto during the Asian session. Will this also continue now during the Western sessions? Hopefully not, because then we could even drop to this 48K level, guys, which is the ultimate level of support. But 53K is already a painful level for many of you guys. I understand you. You bought around 60K. You bought around 65K. All of these levels. And everyone, including me, we were saying, hey, we will slowly crawl up. And then we will slowly crawl up. I still have the same opinion. From September, we will see very bullish movements. These are the very painful moments. These are the moments that the blood is on the streets. That is what they refer to as the blood on the streets. This is what they refer to as maximum pain. And during these moments of maximum pain, we need to stay level-headed. We need to zoom out. We need to look at that bigger picture of Bitcoin. We don't need to lose trust in Bitcoin. We need to gain more trust and buy these dips. Bitcoin is the goal of the 21st century. It's a store of value for the long term, guys. And yes, the stock market can be crashing. And yes, Bitcoin can have these dips. These dips are for buying, not for crying. So stop crying, start buying, zoom out, look at the bigger picture. Do you still believe in Bitcoin? If yes, you should be buying this dip. If no, you should be exiting the market. You should be stopping and taking your profits. As most of you bought Bitcoin around 16 to 25K when I told you to buy, you're still 100% plus in profit. And if we go back to 70k, you will be 200% plus in profit. And if we go to 150k, you will be almost 600% in profits, guys. So yes, I still believe Bitcoin is going to go up massively in the last part of this year. But these black swan events, this black Monday, where the complete markets crash, they always can happen. And when they happen, we need to be level-headed. We need to understand what is happening. It's happening all over the markets, Japan, China, Korea, maybe even the United States and Europe. This is the blood on the streets that you need to buy. This is the moment you buy Bitcoin with a discount. This is a summer offer, one off, sale, sale, sale. You need to buy, buy, buy. Just start to hunt for Bitcoin now, like your wife is probably hunting for all the summer sales, uh, bikinis and all the other stuff that they can buy very cheap uh, after the summer, guys. Now you need to buy Bitcoin as well. And we can see that there's one group of Bitcoiners that do understand exactly what they are doing. And these are the wills. And the wills are all those wallets that hold more than 1000 Bitcoin. So that's what we consider as a will. These wills have been accumulating Bitcoin, a shitload of Bitcoin, almost 90,000 Bitcoin in July. And they keep accumulating, guys. And we have never seen such a high amount of Bitcoin being withdrawn from the exchanges since 2015. The last time the Wills took their Bitcoins in such a huge amount from all the exchanges into their hardware wallets was in 2015 when Bitcoin still was around 225 US dollar. That is the last time that we saw such a huge move from Wills taking the Bitcoins out of the exchanges. Why? Because they understand the cycle. They understand that these dips are nothing. These dips are just to shake out the weak hands and for the whales to buy and accumulate a little bit more because they understand that the bull market will end somewhere in 2025. You should have the same mindset. When the whales are accumulating, you should be accumulating. When the bottles on the streets, you should be buying. When everyone is crying, you should be buying. Let them all cry, you buy. Simple as that. 
I am buying as well all the revenue I'm making every month with whatever I do, I will put into crypto now. I'm not losing any trust in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is here to stay. It's the king when it comes to assets, but you just need to learn how to play this game. And these moments are the moments you will be learning how and when to buy Bitcoin. Now let's jump into the charts to see what is exactly happening to the market and where the next support levels are. Yes, guys, I understand all of your pains. We're gonna look into the charts because you need to see that the complete market is crashing. The S&P 500 minus 1.8%, the NASDAQ minus 2.3%, the Dow Jones minus 1.5%, Nikkei minus 12%. We can continue it's a bloodbath on the markets on the stock markets all over the place over here you can see the stocks all of them up to amazon eight percent are plummeting everything is plummeting at the moment on the market spot etfs even plummeting crypto forex everything is plummeting now let's jump into the charts to see what is happening exactly to the bitcoin price and where we can find support guys now short term the support level should be at that green line now, which is around 51K, 51,700. You can see the wick down below. We can also see that the body is closing above it. Why? If you look to the left, there was some support over there. It's not a big area of support. It's a little bit of support. The biggest area of support, guys, comes from that red area over here, which is at 42,000 US dollar. So if you're not able to hold that 52K level, we could even drop to these levels. Be prepared. But my honest opinion says that this should be a very big support level because if you look to the left, this is a bandwidth we have been in moving in the last couple of months. It should hold. If it doesn't hold, we have very bad luck of this Black Monday, that event that is dropping the whole stock market. You can also see here the RSI is really at the lowest level almost ever over there. That signal line is like lower than it was ever before. So we need to see a reversal uh, in these indicators, of course, because we can't co keep continue dropping, dropping down. Um, terrible, terrible day. Uh, please close your eyes or close your laptop or watch this video first and then uh, just go enjoy life. And, and tomorrow, maybe the markets will be bouncing again and there is new news from the Fed and everything else. Maybe you're going to do something with the um, interest rates, etc. More importantly, I find this Gaussian channel this is a five day chart. And you know, I've been showing this channel and chart for a very long time. And I've been telling you always, if we drop into this channel, is not positive. Every candle is a five day candle. This candle is gonna close in two days in 18 hours. So in two days and 18 hours, this body needs to be closing above this 58K level. If we close bodies inside this level, that will act as quicksand. It will pull the price towards that midline at 50K, maybe even to the bottom over there at 43K. The bad thing about this is that that normally does not happen during a bull market. Let's go back to the previous bull markets to show you exactly why it normally doesn't happen to the bull market. Look, at the moment, we can see that if you look to the bull market here of 2020-21, we had that COVID crash. We went up here, this was the bear market bottom in 2019. We went up above that Gaussian channel. That Gaussian channel flipped from red to green. These are the moments when we go from red to green that the bear market is definitely over. The other side, when we flip to green to red, that's when the bear market definitely is in. Now, we went above, we came into it over here, we were sucked completely to the bottom, we tried to come out, then again the COVID crash, then again we came to the bottom, which became the top resistance, then we came out and we retested it before we took off. This event is normally not seen in the bull market. If we go back a little bit further, for example, to the 2017 bull market, we can see that after the bear market, we go out and we retest that Gaussian channel a few times, but we stay above it. The moment we go in it, bear market. Even the first run over there, we can see the same. We never went in this Gaussian channel. Until we went in it, that was the bear market. So at the moment, what we are seeing is not good when it comes to the Gaussian channel. We are experiencing at the moment 
that drop into that channel that we normally not see. Yes, we saw it in the COVID crash. Maybe this is the black swan event of this bull market. And yes, maybe that's just a temporary crash and we will bounce. But for me, it's very important that this candle will close above this line over there in two days. If we close inside, then I do believe that we can be sucked all the way to the bottom over there at 44,000 US dollars. And yes, it's increasing a little bit every five days, but still, it will be around 45-6k at that moment. Here we went into it as well to the midline and we fought out again. Here we could go into the midline, maybe we need to fight out again. Let's see. But normally this is not positive. Then we have the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we can see that we are finding support at the moment at the 200 weekly moving average. The 200 weekly moving average has historically also been a support during all the bull markets. Let's zoom out over here. Oh, this was a 2020 bull market. You can see the moment we go above it, after the bear market, we kind of find support. It. Yes, this is also the COVID crash. We didn't find support there, but normally we find support on the 200 weekly during a bull market. So yes, I do believe that this level should be a very big level of support, that 50K level, because that's a 200 weekly moving average. If you break that, we will fall back down to these other levels of support over there that we said, the 43 carry area, which comes from here. And if we break that, we go even to these levels of 30K, but I, I don't really want to talk about that because I really don't believe that's going to happen. I really believe that the 50K area is a massive area of support. RSI is also going lower and lower. We can't like go much lower during a bull market because we normally just bottom out around the dotted line then and move up again. So in my opinion, we are still okay, but it's getting very exciting to see what will happen with these candles. This candle is gonna close in another six days and 18 hours. It's a weekly candle and uh, the other candle in two days. So let's see what is gonna happen, but I understand your pain. I understand your doubts. Uh, I'm here to try to take away those pain and doubts, by telling you to stop crying and start buying during these dips. In the monthly chart, it looks a little bit more positive, to be honest. In the monthly chart, we can see, hey, ah, these dips are normal. Here, 2017 top, bear market, ah, we came up, oh, we went down again to the blue line, we went up again, ah, we created a beautiful top at 70K, ah, bear market, hey, we went up again, ah, we're coming down to that orange line, if you would fall to the blue line, that's around 40,000 uh, US dollars. That's a 21 monthly moving average. The orange line is a 12 monthly moving average. Now that red line is a 200 weekly moving average. So um, these lines are just the support lines. But if we zoom out to the monthly chart, guys, we can see it's just another dip on the monthly time frame, but it's a big dip and it's a crash. And normally we don't see these kinds of dips in the bull market we normally see them in the bear market because if we look at these lines over here the red circle that was the top the red circle that was the top the red circle that was the top now every time when that purple line is crossing that yellow line that previously was the top so we are crossing that line now i will make an extra video about this chart and all the other indicators that normally call the top and give you my honest opinion where we are at the market but today these were the charts i have one more chart to show you so that you are not freaking out too much at the moment and that is of course this chart over here this chart is showing you where we are at the moment in the bull market cycle and in this bull market cycle at the moment the green line is the current cycle we are outperforming those other two cycles the orange and um, the, what kind of pinkish line over there? There's a 2017 top, this is a 2021 top. At this amount of blocks, 1000 blocks over there, we are now outperforming both of those. Here we were the same. Here we were almost the same. From that moment, we start to outperform the two other cycles. That is why we created an all time high before the halving. Now we are still highly above those levels that the other cycles were at these amount of blocks, at this part of the cycle. So it's not bad that we are pulling back a little bit towards these lines. That doesn't mean the bull market is over. It does mean that we still have this part to go. And that part will happen in 2025, like I've been telling you every time again and again and again, 
I've repeatedly said the bull market will be in 2025 the top and now you understand why because we needed to have some correction sideways movements because else we would peak too early and we can see very clearly that we were outperforming those other two cycles so if we now come down a little bit towards these two lines we can start to again go up in 2025 and create a new all-time high and bull market top in 2025 I hope you really enjoyed those charts guys, yes, we zoomed in for a bit to see where the support levels are, where can we drop to, where can you put some buy orders, some longs, you can see that our bot is doing perfectly fine, the bot is still performing amazingly, if we bounce from these levels, we'll be taking a shit of trifles with our bot guys, so that's also cool over there, long term, I already talked about it many times now in the beginning of the video, you need to zoom out guys, stop crying, start buying, this is the blood on the streets, this is the moment you buy, you zoom out, you look at the bigger picture, it will take another 12 months till we see the top of this bull market which could be in 2025 which could mean we go a little bit more sideways all the way to september before we see another pump into december all possibilities guys but i still believe there will be a top in 2025 the moment i don't believe this anymore i will openly admit this as well on youtube and i will tell you guys hey this bull market is over and yes, we saw just that the five day candle is going into the Gaussian channel for the first time. We should close the body above that Gaussian channel. If we close inside this channel, I will make an update video as soon as possible because then I think something really weird could be happening. But I will come back to that later if that happens in another two days, guys. Now, let's jump into the last part of the video. The inspirational part for today, guys, is a very cool quote. If you don't change your direction, you might end up where you're going. And that's exactly what most people don't want. Because they are heading in a direction that they really don't want to go, but they think they need to go, or they must go, or they are forced to go because of whatever force there is behind them. A boss, a wife, a kids, whatever it is, guys. So if you want to change that end goal, you need to change your direction. It's simple as that. If you keep continue running in that direction, you will end somewhere at that end. If you turn that way, you will end somewhere at that end. And if you turn that way, you will end up somewhere over there. But if you continue running in that same direction every time again, maybe just see it as a hamster wheel, just keep running, like blindly running, blindly running, running in that direction without changing, you might end up exactly where you're running to. And it could be that that's not the goal where you want to end up. If there is a completely different goal in your life, if there is a completely different direction or a different country, whatever it is that you want to go to, you need to change your direction. It's simple as that. If you're driving a car and only drive straight forward, you might crash it or you might drive off a cliff or you might just run into a wall. You need to change direction to change your life. It's very simple and you are the one in control. You are the pilot of the plane. You are the driver of the car. You are the pilot of your complete body. You tell it, ah, you need to start walking. You need to start walking to the left. You need to start walking to the right. You tell this to your body. You decide whatever this thing does. So you also can decide what direction you want to choose in life. Where do you want to move towards? Start to visualize your future. Start to think about what would your dream situation be. And if that would be your dream situation, you write this down. And when you write down your dream situation, that is the moment you start to move your body into the direction of that dream situation. Not in the opposite situation, towards that dream situation. That's how simple it is. You are in control. You tell your body to go backwards, to come up front. It's you. So you can direct your body in the direction that you want. At the moment, you should be telling your body, sit still behind a laptop, and buy a shitload of bitcoins as the blood is on the streets. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? How are you feeling? Are you okay? Are you feeling depressed because of this dip? Let me know down below in the comments, and let me know if you want to have an AMA as soon as possible, so I can uh, maybe comfort all that feeling, or maybe help you a little bit, or answer any questions that you want. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. Thank you.